in 2004, at the launch of her LK Legs collection, Kylie had signalled her intention to extend her entrepreneurial reach even deeper into the realms of retail. By the end of 2006, the first of those targets had fallen with the launch of her fragrance Darling, which she'd been developing for two years in collaboration with Coty. She'd signed a deal with a fragrance giant to work together closely on a line of scents and ancillary products. Just a few months after being given the all clear from cancer, she was back in Australia to resume her showgirl tour. As she was preparing for the show, she scheduled a very civilized press launch for her latest venture. Guests sipped champagne and waited for their first glimpse of Smiley Kylie. It was her first public appearance in Australia since her illness, and she looked thrilled to be there as she happily bantered with the MC. Hi, everyone. <laughs> wow. You are good. I'm good, right? You are Amazing. good. I feel, I, I just, I, I should go home. Oh, this is great. Thankfully, she didn't. Instead, she cheerfully reminisced on how therapeutic it had been to work on the fragrance. Oh, it was so much fun to work on something that wasn't music, that, that was its own. We all worked really hard to create something that didn't look like an album cover, um, mm. that had its own, uh, its own sense, its own, um, its own space. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot of fun. As always, however, she proved she couldn't just concentrate on one thing at a time. Uh, <laughs> on top of this, <laughs> I just came from rehearsals today. Um, I mean, there's just to, to be here, to be able to enjoy the launch of this perfume, to, to get my show back on the road, that's enough to keep me going. Oh, enough. good. Things were rather less sedate at the British launch of Darling three months later at Harrods in London. What's it? Darling Harrods, £26. <laughs> Many crazy Kylie fans had braved the bitter cold British winter and camped out all night for a chance to get their bottle signed by the pop princess. I've been here since six o'clock last night. That is a really cold night. It was, but I said we had a good um, we had a good time. We had a lot of Carly fans here, so we've kept us company all night. Some took a slightly less fanatical approach. Yeah. Um, I drove from Manchester last night, three o'clock, but I've stayed in a hotel. But I was here at seven this morning. While they were keeping the crowds in order, two passing policewomen gave Darling the thumbs up. Very nice. Yeah, this yes. smell it. It smells very nice. <laughs> and you? Yeah, very nice. For the real fans, however, hanging about in the freezing cold had nothing to do with sampling eau de toilette. We love Kylie. Um, she's just like um, the girl next door. She's like your best friend. She's wonderful. She's an adorable personality. I love the music and um, she just appeals to me. I've liked her since I was 11 years old and um, turned 30 last year, so it's been a while. While Coty continues to roll out more Kylie-related products over the next few years, the pop princess has been finding time to lie down on the job in preparation of the launch of her home furnishings range at home with Kylie. Together with her beloved stylist, William Baker, she'd finally followed up on her childhood passion. I've always loved fabrics, and I guess that's part of fashion and my love of fashion. Um, and I, I, when we had our, our design meetings, I, uh, firstly, I invited the team to my home as it's called Kylie at home, come to my home and see what my living space is like. You might even notice things that I kind of take for granted. Um, and I pulled out all these bits of fabric and trims and this and that that I'd kept f literally for 20 years. So it does go back that far. And so I've been, um, I've been vindicated. The stuff that I've been hoarding has <laughs> finally got a purpose. The range features bed linen, towels, curtains, cushions and throws in organza, silks and taffetas. And as you'd expect, there are lashings of sequins, diamantes and semi-precious stones. Despite being called Kylie at home, much of the inspiration for the range came from hotels and tour costumes rather than her personal home. My home is largely Art Deco or Art Deco influenced. Um, 
I'm not actually home that much, so home to me is a real... I was going to say pleasure or treasure, which one, but actually both. Um, but I get lots of inspiration and see amazing hotels, um, design elements on all my travels and all the incredible designers I work with. Um, and so all, all of those bits of information come down to, um, I guess, to form my, my style and, and what I'd like to put into this range.